If you want to increase the survivability of your troops in a combat situation, you want to make sure they have the best gear, the best weapons, the best radios, the best tactics and training. But one piece of equipment that's really come into its own over the last 20 years is body armor. I've come to Fresno, California, where this important development in the fight to protect and survive has moved up to a whole nother level. Most body armor uses ceramic plates. They're hard, but they're brittle. Sure, they'll soak up a few rifle rounds, but after that, they're all done. The ceramic plates fracture and break, and when that happens, you're in serious trouble. In a combat zone, you want your armor to take hit after hit without failing. And that's a tall order when rounds are getting more powerful and tougher to stop. Here in Fresno, California, they know all about the problems caused by modern ammunition. Let's see just how much damage a bullet can do. We're gonna fire steel core rounds, 5.56, then 7.62, through this, and see what happens to this steel plate. First up, the 5.56 steel core armor piercing round, and I'm firing it from an M16 rifle. These bullets are devastating. They punch through steel like it's paper. The heavier 762 by 39 steel core round has even less trouble. When you look at the damage here, and you can clearly see it punches right through. As a matter of fact, look at this. All the way through. And if this is the quality of the steel and armored plate for light vehicles, imagine what this would do to a human being. This is dragon skin. It's a whole new kind of body armor, and its designers claim it can resist these very powerful rounds. Dragon skin uses advanced ceramic and titanium composite discs that overlap and interlink with each other. The way the discs are laid out allow the impact energy of the bullet to be dispersed over a larger area. And that's vitally important because even if the armor can stop the bullet, the force from an actual strike could be devastating. A round doesn't have to pierce body armor to cause serious internal injuries or even death. The outside of the projectile. But, but the makers of Dragon Skin say their armor is so good at spreading the force of a bullet's impact that the worst you'll suffer is bruising. Murray Neal is the brain behind it. When the projectile impacts it, it induces yaw, and that yaw causes the bullet to come apart and disintegrate upon impact. What makes dragon skin so unique? It doesn't restrict your body movement. It takes substantial multiple repeat hits. Time to put dragon skin to the future weapons test. I'm going to fire a variety of bullets at dragon skin, including the steel core 556 and 762 rounds that we saw earlier ripping through metal plate. Surely this body armor can't repel that kind of onslaught. Firing an M16 with steel core 556 millimeter rounds can do some real serious damage. How will dragon skin cope with this power? especially from nearly point-blank range. Can this revolutionary armor really stop rounds that blast through steel? Now we fire two rounds. We got two right there, nine millimeter. Look at that. There we go. Look at that. Now we saw clearly what that did to a quarter inch of steel, mm -hmm. it just went right through, like, like a knife through butter. That's this, basically, it. nothing. Now comes a test. Most body armor doesn't do well against this round. It's time to get even more serious. The 762 armor piercing round turned steel plate into Swiss cheese. Can this reptilian style body armor really stop them? And we got two shots, basically two shots in the gut. Now, if this guy didn't have a vest on, it would clearly be over. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna rip this thing off and take a look. Quick look at this bad boy. All right. 
All right, bad boy back. What do we see here? That's incredible. 556 with steel core rounds? I'll tell you, I, I was I was on the edge of thinking that would actually work, you know? Uh -huh. And I'll tell you, when you start to look at this, a 762 by 39 flying the way it does, there's so much punch behind that. Mm -hmm. To not see it actually penetrate all the way through. Next, I'm gonna fire everything I can lay my hands on at Dragon Skin. All right, this is where we actually put it to the ultimate test. I'm gonna go from the 762 to the 556 to the 9 millimeter, and we're gonna see just how much damage Dragon Skin can take. A soldier's been ambushed. He's running for cover, being fired on from all directions. It's a situation any soldier could face in urban combat. Let's see how it handles multiple strikes from multiple calibers. I tell you, you would have to be in a really bad position to have that many rounds aimed at you, hitting you, we get to see just how tough dragon skin armor really is. Now, we threw a lot of rounds downrange, didn't we? When you're looking at this, look at that. That is crazy. That's incredible. Look at that. When you see that, <laughs> look at this side. That'll make it real simple. See that right there? Flip it over. Look what you're looking at. Everywhere. Boom, 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 boom. Rounds everywhere. Incredible. But can it take any more punishment? Time to take it to a whole nother level. I'm about to be the first person in the world to attack Dragon Skin with a grenade. This has never been done before. Surely can't survive. Fire and roll! 